It's called Inclusive Sports and Fitness, a specialized training facility that uses neuroscientific principles to help children with disabilities learn not only movement and motor skills, but also cognition and social skills. Well, they come here uh, twice a week. It's an hour and a half session, and uh, we have a staff of occupational therapists on, in the program. Alex Lopez is a professor of occupational therapy at New York Institute of Technology. Through grants and private funding, he opened the space in order to meet the needs of children living with autism, Down syndrome, and ADHD. Pull your shoulders back. There you go. This sports performing treadmill helps kids work on reaction time, and the rock climbing wall helps fine tune coordination skills. The ISF program pairs athletes with volunteer mentors. I just love seeing the difference and how happy it makes all the kids here. 15 more seconds, then I'm going to bring you down. We start out with uh, what we call motor time. High intensity exercise is supposed to increase attention uh, skills, um, skills for like cognitive agility. Uh, and they do that for about 45 minutes or so. We do about 10 or 15 minutes of social time where they, uh, it's more of like an attention state where they can rest and attend to each other and learn basic social skills. And after that 10 or 15 minutes, we do so, uh, sports time. They learn how to throw, kick, run, jump, and we end with relaxation time. ISF is a nonprofit organization. The athletes pay just $25 a session and commit to 12 weeks at a time. The goal is to ultimately get kids into mainstream sports and other recreational activities. Because they don't play, they don't socialize. Because they don't socialize, they don't play. And because they don't play, they don't develop motor skills. So it's a little bit of a cycle. What we're doing is trying to correct that. <laughs> 11-year-old Brendan has made tremendous progress since he started the program. His grades have improved. He actually made the honor roll this past semester. Um, and he's just more um, task-oriented. He is more organized. And his self-confidence has improved. It's about creating an environment of inclusivity while enhancing children's abilities to perform daily activities. In Holbrook, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.